Hello and welcome to today's video. I am so honored and grateful that you're here and Womb of Eden just wants to welcome you into this space. So by the title of this video, you can definitely tell that it is about a new workout journey. Again, I will chat a little bit more about that later in the video. And uh, just right now, I wanted to just welcome you and kind of give a little background as today's vlog. I'm just eating a snack. This is actually after I have worked out and I have already showered. I wanted to say that I am excited to record this journey and to share it with you and I hope it encourages you. I hope that you can be inspired and take it from someone who has gone through years of hard work and dedication of working out only to get to a place where you never made it to. And so I am someone who has completely lost motivation and honestly, I thought I would end up in the fitness field, specifically um, personal training or something along those lines, gym teaching. Um, so take it from someone who is no longer doing that and who completely lost motivation for working out and fitness. And I, yesterday I actually decided, okay, I'm just gonna start working out. Like we're not gonna plan anything. We're not gonna plan meals afterwards and before. And we're not gonna plan stretches and all that kind of stuff. I'm just doing it. And I feel so good. Like my muscles are a little bit shaky. I know I'll be a little bit sore. I feel excited, more excited than I have. I wouldn't even say I'm motivated. I'm more so just excited. So take it from someone who has gone through a major shift of working out super hard and then not working out for a really long time and not enjoying more of the physical activity, more just like natural physical activity, such as walking and gardening and you know, hiking and going, playing with my dog. So those kinds of things to someone who is now starting their journey completely over again. I just wanted to encourage you with the intro of this video and later I will chat more about probably my fitness journey. So follow along. Today is Monday, January 9th. So that is also good to just document this. This is my very first day. Honestly, I had no preparation last night at around like seven or eight o'clock. I was like, oh my gosh, like I think I'm gonna work out tomorrow. And that is how it happened. I am on a completely new journey of incorporating Jesus and giving it all to Jesus. And so um, I'm on a new journey with that. And I think that seriously helped me so much get into my workout clothes today. And to be honest, I don't even have that many workout clothes. I have just grown a little bit. And so I am trying to not get back down to say like my post-secondary volleyball days, but to a place where I feel womanly, but a place most importantly, where I feel strong. Um, I'm going to eat my snack. And today I'm just having a little guacamole with some chips, some cheese, and some ham, and then I rolled some pickles inside. If you're interested in following along with this journey, hit the subscribe button because I will definitely be making workout video and series will not end here. So if you want to continue to see my workout journey and just my journey to becoming more of the woman that God has called me to be, then please subscribe. just starting day two of working out. It is Wednesday, January 11th, and it is 9.24, and this will probably be kind of my workout time, and it's perfect because the doggy sleeps around this time, um, and we have a GSP, so if you have a GSP, you know it's sometimes hard to get things done with them, especially when you're doing something that looks interesting to them. Probably around like 8.15 I had breakfast, so it's later than that. 
my food's digested. I feel pretty good. I have my adrenal cocktail as my workout drink this morning. Um, if you don't know what this is, it basically is just like sodium, potassium, all that kind of good stuff in a drink. And it is way more supportive than water. I, mean, I swear you're way less thirsty when you drink one of these. So this is just orange juice. Um, I added cream just to kind of tone down the orange juice a little bit and salt and cream of tartar. So that's what I'm drinking and it's day two. So let's go. listen on my speaker but the last couple days I feel like right in my ears just motivating me a little bit more like when I was working out a while ago I would just have it on my speaker but I'm just finding that today and on Monday in my ears is really helping me and I'm not an advocate for Bluetooth but this is just working for me right now so that's what we're doing let's go <laughs>
welcome to the portion of the video where I just sit down and chat a little. Um, I want to end the vlogs this way just because sometimes I do things that will require a little explanation that I just decide, oh, I'm not gonna like talk about this. I just wanna show it, the beauty of it. Um, and this is also just a chance to kind of record almost a little video diary. And so I wanted to chat about my workout journey and why this title is called Starting My Workout Journey Again. Um, I played post-secondary volleyball for two years and prior I was playing club volleyball which is really a lot of days a week and you're working out and I didn't get the playing time that I worked so hard for and everyone referred to me as like oh you're like the hardest worker on the team and coaches literally told me that or apologized to my face for not giving me playing time then going into the next semester. Um, not giving me any and so i feel like the gym was a very like good place to kind of put it all and was like oh well if i'm not going to succeed on the course i can succeed in the gym because i am physically seeing myself succeed in this space and then fast forward i'm done my volleyball journey i decide not to continue i decide not to try anywhere else so, like that is where my life was supposed to go and I did, did really well working out. I actually feel like I did it pretty consistently and when I look back at pictures, I'm like, you're still strong. So I wanted to give a little backstory about kind of how I feel like I lost that motivation. And I feel like I really just fell out of love for doing it for myself. It looked strong and so I feel like I wanna feel like that again and I'm also on a little bit of a, not like a weight loss, but also I am just incorporating Jesus and incorporating the Holy Spirit into this journey and really giving it all to him. And which is new, um, as sad to say, I feel like sometimes the research is a place where I go to for information instead of asking the Holy Spirit to download that information to me. And so that is part of my journey right now too. And I feel like that has made a huge difference even just starting that on Thursday. So it's January 9th on Monday, like I said earlier. So even just starting that in the last little bit, I feel like I am the happiest and I feel like I am the most motivated. And like I said in the intro, it's not even motivation. It's like excitement to just add it back into my routine and kind of partner with Jesus on the working out transformation and the working out journey and finding a reason as to why I feel like that is a place where I really need to come back to. So that is why I wanted to just sit down and chat. It's fun to always vlog, but it also is fun to just sit down and kind of record a little bit of a journal. And so the ending of this video is almost like a little journal and a little way to just look back and see where my heart and my head are at and why I am doing something. And so hopefully in months from now when my journey continues and I continue to record that journey, that maybe my heart changes in a way for the better or maybe I stay the same. So we'll see, but I hope you really enjoy this day and thank you for staying to the end of this video. I hope that I inspire you to rethink your journey. And if you are someone who has completely lost the love of working out and don't feel motivated, like to be honest, working out was the last thing on my priority list. And if you would have asked me that four or five years ago, it would have been number one. Like I really enjoyed working out. Like I said, I probably, like I always thought I was gonna do something in a gym. And so I am not doing that. And so take it from me, follow this journey with me and I just hope to encourage you. And if you're someone who has lost that motivation and excitement, I promise you will get it back. And I just invite you to invite the Holy Spirit into any journey that you're on right now. And thank you for watching this video. And if you liked this video, please subscribe. And if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And thank you for staying to the end of this video. I hope to continue to record the workout journey. And if you are on your own workout journey, send me tips and tricks. And yeah, I hope you have a lovely day.